today's swing report video covers new cobra players irons for 2023 we've got the cobra king tour and the cobra king cb and mb as well uh, a lot of great offerings here from cobra and we've got kevin craft here as well to hit some shots and do some testing for us we'll tell you everything you need to know about these three iron models golfers if you haven't yet subscribe to the youtube channel like the video and tell us in the comments what you think of these new players irons from cobra Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, joined by Kevin Kraft, a master club fitter at our store in Columbia. We are in the Twin Cities. Kevin flew in, it is like minus 17 degrees outside. So Kevin's flown in the perfect time to look at some new irons for Cobra <laughs> in 2023. Uh, three players irons, and I think that's really intriguing from Cobra. Not yep. maybe the first brand you think of when you think of players irons, but they do deliver that performance. And so uh, we've got three models, the Cobra King Tour, mm -hmm. and then the CB and the MB, which can be combined into one set as well. You can do yes. a combo set there. Yes. So that's really intriguing. So you've got all three with you. Uh, talk to me about your kind of first impressions. What are you looking at there? Um, you know, they they look like player's irons. We've got a fairly sh you know small blade length, compact yep. shape. Um, they don't look overly forgiving. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of how it goes with those, right? It, it kind of does. Yeah. We got a little more forgiveness here in the in the in the tour model. Yeah. Uh, but the CBMB, these are for technically they're for the the better players, yeah. those guys that want maybe to work the ball a little bit more. Yeah. Looking for a little more spin, therefore a little more control. It's not really a distance game coming with these with these right. golf clubs. Yeah. It is it is all about control and. Yep. and uh, Mm -hmm. and feel yeah, yeah yeah for sure and then you know you get the the king tour average a little bit more because they're so with the king tour you have the it's both all these clubs are five step forged forged mm -hmm. cl golf clubs so that feel element like you mentioned is going to be there though with the uh with the tour you have that tpu insert so like a little bit of an added kind of punch almost a little bit in there as sure. well so uh you're going to get that feel plus the aluminum medallion in there as well so uh some kind of elegance added to that tour model Yes. Um, and I know you're familiar with the prior tour model that was actually the MIM tour. Yes. So um, I guess having played that model and now seeing this one, what are your your impressions from kind of the replacement, if you will? Yeah, I was really interested because I've, I've loved my MIMs. Um, it's a shape thing for me. Aesthetics are really important uh, to me as a, as a player, which I mean, kind of silly almost, but I'm really obsessed with the look. Uh, shaping on this is very similar to what I'm used to playing, which I'm very happy about. Uh, does make it possible for me to make change. I wasn't really thinking I was going to, but uh, looking down at this, it looks fantastic. I think it's a little bit more compact. Uh, the blade length on the MIM tours was a little bit longer. Uh, so I'll be interested to see mm -hmm. how forgiving this club is compared with the MIMs that I've been playing. And mm -hmm. I, I, haven't, I haven't gone down this route for a while. It's this asks a lot it of does. a golfer. So, um, you know, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm very much in the forgiveness uh, side of things. Yeah. I, I well, like a little bit of forgiveness. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's why make golf harder than it already is. So I think that's what, and, I, and I, what I always like to say about these irons is these types of irons, especially this MB and CB, the golfer has to provide the performance. Yes. And with the other models, you know, the King Tour, the golfer may be required to provide a little bit less performance. Correct. And the club can kind of help with some of that. Sure, and then absolutely. as you get larger and more kind of game improvement uh, type technology in there, the golfer provides less performance, the club does some of the work. But yeah. with these, the CB and MB now, they're just they're just forages. That's really yeah. what they are. Yeah. Um, and they give you a really clean, compact look. Um, 34 degrees of loft, not 702, yeah. so a little, a little bit more, more of a traditional. traditional. Yeah, yep, a little bit more absolutely. traditional. 32 with the King Tour, so Correct. a little bit stronger. Yep. Uh, maybe comparable to some other models out there that aren't quite all the way down there in the mid 30s, but yeah. a little bit stronger to kind of give a touch lower spin. Maybe. Yeah, sort of along the lines of like, uh, you know, Titleist released that 100S. Yeah, yeah, that's a good example. Give that player mm -hmm. that that wants a little more distance, yep. a, a really good looking, good feeling option that, mm -hmm. that didn't have to maybe go into the, you know, full on into a player distance mm -hmm. iron. Right, exactly. So we have three clubs with us today and we actually, we have the six iron of the CB and the seven iron of the MB because Cobra offers the ability to combo those four yep. through six in the CB and then the rest in the MB, which I think is a popular option as well. So it is. Um, we're gonna test all three today, uh, get some feedback from you. Yep. And uh, I think I'm, I'm intrigued because 
those things look really darn good. They they really do. They really do. Uh, we'll see what uh, see whether I'm worthy. Uh, Mr. Crafts, we're starting with the least forgiving golf club that we're going to hit today. It's the Good. King MB. Yep. Uh, so talk to me about what you see. I imagine it's not a ton is really what the answer. It's, it's not big. Yeah. So it's not a ton in that way. Yeah. Um, there's not a lot of tech to talk about here. It's a very nicely formed piece of metal. Yes. Um, it's small. We're not talking Ricky RF small, right. but we are talking small. Yeah. So, um, you know, you, you put this club down behind the golf ball and you're like, Ooh, I'd really better hit this thing pretty yeah. solid. Cause yeah. otherwise it kind I'm, of challenges yourself a little bit. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not that much bigger than the golf ball to be honest. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I like looking at it. Um, it's not going to be for everybody. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that. This is I'm not the club that. for everybody. Well, let's see if it's for Kevin Kraft. Okay, all right. I pulled that one. You did. Yep. A little bit. So, and I, that's pretty far for a bladed golf club. Yeah, I mean, in yeah. your seven iron, you, I think you told me in the prior video, one, little over 170 maybe, or 170-ish? Yeah, 170, carry, 72. Yeah. You're used to? Okay. Yeah. That was pretty good ball speed, just pulled a little bit. I've been swinging drivers, so I'm going gonna, I'm yeah. gonna to say that was the reason why. Well, 170 to 180. That's Very consistent. What's the lie angle on this thing? Ooh, there you go. So I think we're seeing like the workability show up, which now I know you're not, I guess you're not trying to draw it that much maybe. No. But no. the player that wants to hit a big draw. Yeah. Can you do can. That. Yeah. You, you want workability? I'll give you workability. Let's see it. Oh, with some extra speed. Ooh, little fade. Little fader. Little right. fade. Yeah. Go straight, baby. Come on now. Go straight. Ah, oh, I turned left. I was trying to get the fade and the draw oh, back, and then back, the back. straight ball. Yeah. 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 Okay. It, it's, it's certainly a, a club that's going to move the ball. Yeah. I mean, um, you hit it well. I'm really a little shocked at the amount of turn that we've seen. With this, I mm -hmm. didn't really expect to turn it quite that much. Um, I'm also a little surprised at the carry yardage, considering that this is two degrees weaker than what I'm currently playing. Yeah. Let me give one more try to get this thing to land on the line here. Ooh, if that draws like it has been, that'll be close. That one should be pretty good. Yeah. Okay, get on the line, get on the line. That is so, look at the number. Five inches away. I'll take that. You'll take that. I'll take, I'll that. take that. So that's pretty good. Um, look, anytime you get a new iron in your hand, it takes a little while to get used to it. Right. So there we go. Yeah, it does. I'm um, full of excuses. I've got all kinds. I got, I got stores of them uh, tucked away for any kind of a instance. Well, I think any golfer does have a, a good bank of excuses <laughs> there. Uh, so that, I mean, the feel, uh, one thing I wanted to comment to the, yeah. the sound, I imagine you talked about feel, but the sound, it was so, cause we have been testing some, Game improvement irons today. Mm -hmm. um, that's not a game improvement iron, and it sounded so like muted and soft. It, it, it feels buttery. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the that's the word that is that we're gonna use for this. It is straight butter. Yeah, it feels fantastic. Mm -hmm. Absolutely yeah. fantastic. That's that's what you got to go for in a blade, yeah. and yep. the purist is gonna like that club for sure. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, look, feel, sound, great. And honestly, I'm, I'm a little surprised at the performance. Can we bring up the... Yeah, uh, we can. Yeah. Okay. So um, I don't know what the lie angle is on this golf club. I do typically play half inch short and two degrees flat. So uh, this is standard length. And standard lie is 62. Okay. So it's a little upright. It's a little long. So those two things kind of kind of, kind of can factor in but there. But right? I think, but I mean, we, we look at how consistent this, these shots are. You, you, this yeah. was the last one that you... You made sure to hit on the center line, but yeah. there's a pretty consistent 
pattern going on here, and that's which is what, what you want. We should see that with definitely more with a bladed golf club, yep. right? Or, or, a, or a CB. Uh, we should expect more consistency. We should expect higher spin rates, yeah. uh, steeper landing angles, and more yeah. consistency. Because this thing is really not made for distance, right. but it is made for control. So I think what, this will be interesting now, because we have a six iron yeah. of the CB. Yeah. So this is where that blend of the combo set would happen. So yes. let's hit the six iron of okay. the CB here, and um, we'll see how that works and how that matches up with the dispersion there. Okay, so looking down at this golf club, looks very similar to the one we were just hitting. Yeah. Right? Uh, might be a touch longer in blade length. Let's take a little look and see. Yeah, just yeah. fractionally just larger. Longer. Yep, yep. So, I mean, let, let's face it. This is a, this is not a terribly forgiving golf club. Yeah. It's got a little bit more of that tiny bit of forgiveness in yeah. this than, than maybe the a little does. bit like thicker top yeah, liner and sole. We, we are a little bit i did notice that it is yeah. a little bit wider sole and we'll go a little bit wider still with the tour but okay. um you know the nice thing is you don't have to get combo set uh, if you do a combo set we find the spot where you're comfortable yeah and then it doesn't have to be at seven iron the way they sent it in seven in the mb six and the cb doesn't have to be like that if you want to go nine iron and pitching wedge in a in a mb we can do that and we can go eight yeah. iron on yeah, it. Sure. So, um, you know, for some players, they might want to just go straight through in a CB. Cool. You know, we've got those options. Same yeah. thing with the MB. So, all right, six iron with the CB. We want to see mm -hmm. probably 10, 11, 12 yards of, of yep. variance. Oh, no way. Wow. That's some speed. That is some speed. I did not expect to see 126. So to clarify, this is a 30 degree iron now. So we went from 34 to 30. But that's a huge spread, isn't yeah. it? It does seem like it is. 86, weren't we at around one? Yeah, we were. Yeah. A little faster club head speed, a little longer golf club. Now here, what if, okay, so this, since these are your kind of warm up swings here. Yeah. If I go, I mean, even still, you're averaging nah, I mean, right around it. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't really change anything. Yeah, it really doesn't. That's All right, well, let's see if that was. More, see let's if see if this was an anomaly or whether this yeah. thing is just freakishly fast. Yeah. Similar ball speed, if not faster. Yeah. Wow. The spin is down. Look at that. Yeah, that's a little surprising. <laughs> okay, I blocked this one and the ball speed stayed really pretty high. Yeah, it did. And we got the we got the spin rate. It's almost back like this up. is the number we were looking at here. Yeah, this is I mean, more what, what this we were is looking at. A little at. more what I was expecting. Maybe just a little low in terms right, of carry. We, but... Let's see, we got where are we? 170 to 177 with the yeah. MB, 5800 spin. And then now, this is the one, 55, 179, 187. I mean, that's and that one's that one we, though. That's one. That one's the anomaly, right? That's that's the high spinner. Right. That's what I'm saying. The anomaly, the, the kind of the one-off is the one that's yeah. actually got better to what we expected yeah. there. There's just a lot of there's a lot of speed. Okay. Okay. So that one's also a little bit more in the yeah. window. It's not. Yeah. I mean, getting it, getting it slightly yeah. shut down, so, going left. We yeah. should see that spin drop a little bit. So, here's a question: Is a mile and a half is that probably about normal for one club, or do you think it could have also been you swung a little bit faster than? I mean, it's really only one. It's a mile and a half. I mean, that's that's probably within the realm. Okay. You know, I don't think that's too too out of bounds. Yeah. So we got. I mean, actually, on the on the entire average, you're 13 yards and 16 yeah. total. It's really not. It, it played out really not too bad. Yeah, I know there uh, was this one here that kind of changed things. Right? Yeah, that would be the that would be the one I would chuck out of there. Just right, to, and then we see just to see where everything is. 184. Even 170. That one really didn't change it a whole lot. I mean, 14 yards is a 
You, me, you would for, normally like it a little tighter. For than me, that? a little, you know, you a little bit wide. 12 maybe. Yeah, I, I would be probably happier in the twelve degree yeah. range. Um, but the overall numbers, uh, landing angle still good, spin rate still pretty decent. Mm -hmm. We did drop eight hundred RPM though, so that's that's a little interesting. That's significant. Yeah, um, I mean. So this was, is the way it looks here. I was actually more accurate with this than I was with yeah. With yeah, this, you're with kind of floating center. over the center a little bit yeah. better. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that's what we found. I mean, it's very interesting. Yeah, very, I mean, I very guess, interesting. And like you said, the, the combo doesn't have to be seven to six. No, we whatever, can we so. can break that down where kind so, of wherever we need it. Right. Yeah. But let's try the uh, let's try the King Tour now. Okay. So we'll go that. We got the seven iron of that one. Yep. So, so I'm expecting. Something in between those two, probably. Okay. Uh, given that this is 32 degrees aloft and the, the mm -hmm. MB was 34. A um, little larger blade length. Right. <laughs> I imagine so. Yeah. It looks, it's a, it's a friendlier looking iron while yeah. staying still very traditional. Uh, the shape on this is, is fantastic. This yeah. is, it looks very much like Mine, though I had to doctor my MIM tours up a little bit by making the lofts a little stronger. Okay. So there's a little less offset in this than there, there gotcha. is in what I'm currently playing. Um, sole width looks about the same. Blade length is a little a little smaller though. So uh, it looks really good to me. Yeah. So I, it's, we're kind of painting a picture up here. So we, we started with the club that was 34 degrees. Yep. We went to 30, slightly longer club too. Yep. And now we're back to 32. And I think, I, again, this is early, but I think we're gonna see those dots fall right in between there on yeah. the dispersion yep. uh, map. Yeah, this has been a really consistent club. It's so, almost like you played the previous version. <laughs> yeah and and truth be told i did measure this one out yeah so this one's flat and it's it's still the, the half inch longer but i'm choking down just a little bit mm. so it's very very similar to what i'm playing right now which i think is part of the reason why we're seeing this going seeing this being a little the more same, the same swing every a little time. more up the a little more up the, up the line right yeah there it is again okay Okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna give you four better swings than that. I no, don't that's, think. Uh, yeah, let's just see how close. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't get any better. That's, pretty good. It's what I want. If yeah. I'm playing tournaments, that's what I want. Yeah. yeah. What, what's the, uh, the 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 question we ask is, what circle do you want when you're in iron fitting? Which one? Yeah. The so, one that you play. Funny how that works. Yeah. Uh, is the smallest one. Very but, very consistent. See, and it's everything falls in into place here. Yep. Like we would have expected. You know, smashes right in the middle, spins in the middle, carries in the middle. Odo's pretty much in the middle, right? Mm -hmm. Landing angle, same. I mean, it's it's all working out. Yeah. How it should. It's like what 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 have we been saying? All these golf clubs doing exactly what they're supposed to yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. It's funny how Crazy. that works. Yeah. Funny how that works. Yeah. Uh, so talk to me about the the King Tour and the feel. So because we have. Um, the insert in there. Yeah. Did not have that with the CB and the MB. Did so not. Difference so, in the feel there. It doesn't feel a ton. Okay. Um, it feels, the tour feels a little faster. Okay. As, as I think it should, yeah. based on the construction of the golf club, yeah. the, the technology in the golf club, there's a little more tech there in, yeah. the, in the tour. Um, it almost feels, it almost feels softer and a little springy. Okay. Um, they all feel fantastic, yeah. though. They're like, yeah. they're all, they're and I'm, I'm really asking good. you. To, they feel like a really good player's golf. I'm asking player. you to nitpick a little bit. Yeah, but. and that's that's really that's yeah. really it. It it felt to me, probably because with it set, I know where the the loft lie specs are on yeah. on that one. I knew I could count on it. I knew I could go yeah. after it. You know, uh, no other variables were in question. No, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. and that folks is the importance of club fitting, right? Yeah. We saw the dispersion there yep. and then here I got a golf club that I know is, is yeah. what, I, what I'm used to. And psh, yeah, we're, we're right up that. I mean, it's, line. it's, it's, again, it's funny how everything works out when it's, how it's supposed to, but yeah. the dispersions here 
outside of even the one you hit are really good. I mean, yeah. there's that, that white oval and that orange oval, there's, those shots are very consistent. You had maybe one kind of short right one there yep. with the, uh, the six iron yeah, CB. Yeah, a little thin one. But a little bit. those yeah. are very repeatable shots. Sure. And I think players that are in the market for these irons want repeatability, consistency. They Absolutely. Want the same, they yeah. want to know what they're going to get from the yeah. club. They're, they're not the guys that are chasing distance. Right. That's for sure. Right. And uh, I think these, in the testing today, it showed they'll get what they expect to get. Yeah. from the clubs. Yeah. So Mr. Craft, three Cobra players irons for 2023. And we definitely, we did the testing. We saw really good stuff. Yeah. The King Tour model. I know you're excited about it. Yeah. I'd been playing the previous yeah. generation. And I mean, let's talk about that one first. Okay. Let's talk about that one first. Uh, your feedback from that one. And I guess moving forward then the player that most likely fits into, or I guess would fit with that club. Okay. Um, my feedback, it's, it's kind of a natural progression of what I've been playing the last two seasons. Yeah. Uh, blade length is a little more compact, which, which I'm okay with. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't mind a longer blade length giving a little bit more forgiveness, but um, this is definitely for a player that does want to have a little bit more forgiveness does want to have a little more ball speed mm -hmm. lost a couple degrees stronger than what we saw in the the cb mbs and um you know it's a lot of it'll come down to look feel sound in this category right so uh, mm -hmm. it's never shocking when we've got three or four different clubs in the same category doing the exact same thing yeah. right so when those numbers play out exactly the same you know i I have to stand back and be like, all right, what, what do you like the best? Yes, what, right. what looks, feels, and sounds best to you? Uh, from an aesthetic standpoint, this to me is absolutely on point. From a feel stand, standpoint, um, I, I think it's really nice. Yeah. Uh, the sound was, was good. It didn't sound clicky. Yeah, no, um, it did not. It sounded like a good forged iron. Yeah, honestly. it did. Yeah, yeah. So, that's, that's exactly what I would say it is. Yeah. It is a good yes, forged Yes, absolutely. Um, I agree. Going into the CB now. So the CB here, uh, I think at first we were a little bit kind of taken aback by the first couple shots yeah. because yeah. it was it was a little bit hot out yeah. the face. Yeah. Um, after a few more shots, things kind of balance yeah. themselves out a little bit, but uh, perhaps a little bit more of a punch packed in here with just a little bit more weight down here. Sure. Potentially. Absolutely. Um, I think a little bit of that then fell on me. I got just a little bit over on those first couple swings. Sure. So we're going to see that ball speed jump yeah. up a little bit. Um, though I was actually more accurate with this than I was with the MB. Yeah. Hmm, more, a little tiny bit more forgiveness. Yeah, maybe, probably, you know? probably a little bit. So, um, it's all about very, that mass distribution. You know, there's, yeah. there's some more mass, a little bit like you talk about the wider sole. You can clearly, you can see it. So yes. That probably has something to do with yeah. it. Yeah. So I was really impressed with this. Um, it is, definitely more compact than the tour. Mm -hmm. So, you know, not for the faint of heart, yeah. uh, definitely not as, as demanding as the MB, yeah, right. um, but made for combo sets yeah. and, and, but also can be done all the way through. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, it just depends on what an individual is interested in. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And then like you mentioned, not for the faint of heart. This is oh, yeah. absolutely yeah. not for the faint of heart. Yep. The muscle back blade, the King MB. There are scarier irons out there. There are. There are. Not this many, is, but there are some scarier irons. There's a, it, it is on a far side of the spectrum. Yes, yes. Um, but I think, you know, the soft feel, the mm -hmm. consistency, the, yep. and then the ability to shape the shot, too, yeah. we definitely saw when you were testing. Yeah, it's that's what it's built for. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, it's gorgeous. You know, there's not going to be too many people across the board that are going to look down at that and think, oh, that's not a really good-looking golf club. Right. But let's be reasonable. Yeah. I don't want to play it. I like it. Yeah. It's beautiful. I can hit it. I don't want to play it. Yeah. Uh, there's too many. There's too many forced shots that yeah. require precision with that golf club. Yeah. You know, I want a little bit of forgiveness. I yeah. want to be able to be a little to the heel, a little to the toe, a little thin, and get yeah. away with it. Right. So. Yeah, I think I remember you. You set it down. And you're like, it's really not that much bigger than the golf ball. It's not. And so it's I not. think that's a good way to put it. I mean, yep. this is really small. It forces you to hit the center of the face, but yep. when you do, it feels pretty good. It does. And it performs pretty well. So one of the things that I will sometimes recommend for those who are maybe a little bit more minded toward blades, but maybe the game isn't quite there, yeah. 
Let's get something that's got a little more forgiveness. Let's order you a seven iron in the blade. Take it out, play it, work with it, you know, practice with it. You want to practice hitting it dead center on the golf club? This is a great golf club to do that yeah. with. But maybe then we want a little more forgiveness when we get out on the golf course. Yeah, that's, that's a great point. Yeah. That's a great point. So many players striving, they want to play blades. They're because of the, the beauty. I got a store the full elegance. of the young guys that want to play blades. Yeah. Yeah. And they all think it's cool, but none of them can beat me. And I don't play blades. So, you know, I'm left, I'm left scratching that's my a, head. That's a nice little lesson to sum things up in this video, I think, yeah. for Mr. Kraft. And so. they don't care. They just yeah. don't care. Right. These young right. kids. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm one of them. Sometimes. Whippersnappers. Uh, Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> Whippersnappers, indeed. The Cobra Players Iron for 2023. Yep. Three of them here. Yep. Uh, the MB, the CB, and the King Tour, I think, from pretty good feedback in the testing. Oh, yeah. Consistency, feel, it's all there. So, Get fit for your set at second swing. Someone like Kevin can dial you in. Uh, not for the faint of heart on this one necessarily, but the CB, the King Tour, they're there to help you play better golf. So Kevin, thanks for joining today. My pleasure. Um, amidst the storm that we're uh, in the middle of here, but uh, we appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks.